Hi everyone, Bill coming back at you again with a video. Our RV Tiny House Part 2 project complete. We've been uh, renovating this over the winter and we moved in about six weeks ago and I just wanted to give you an update to see so you can see the final completion of the project. If you'd like to see where we started on the renovation, you can look at our video uh, of Part 1 and I'll put the link here. As you can see, this is a, uh, a trailer RV, 32-foot RV, and it's permanently set up on uh, cinder blocks and it's got all utilities attached. And as you can see over here, it's got a, a sunroom that's attached to it. So it's, it's a permanent situation and we're not going to pick it up and move it. The trailer is uh, 150 square feet and the sunroom is another 100 square feet. So we have about 250 square feet total. Um, th this is a little different from many tiny houses that you see online because we are set up with permanent uh, utilities. We have water, sewer, and electric. So we have all of the uh, comforts of home inside. We don't have to collect rainwater or wash our clothes in a bucket or any of that kind of stuff. So um, we are probably going to be eventually painting the outside and then eventually putting probably vinyl siding on it uh, but that's just cosmetic it's it's up and running and working as it is so we'll go ahead and go inside so here we, here we are in the living room um, many Tiny houses have all built-in furniture because they're trying to maximize space and one of the things that they have is a uh, built-in bench with storage underneath and cushions on top and that's where they sit. That's their couch. Quite frankly, we're old. We didn't want to sit there. That's uncomfortable. We decided right from the very beginning that we wanted to have two recliners in our tiny house. So that's what we have here. We were just able to fit them in because there's a bump out right behind me, it fits nicely and there's just enough room to extend without hitting everything here. So we have our two recliners and right across the way, show it up there, we have the flat screen TV up on the wall which works very well for our evening viewing pleasure. Now we are also preppers of sort, but we don't have a whole lot. We do have some food storage, so I have built a shelf right here this is our Thrive freeze-dried food and then we have more stored elsewhere off-site. But uh, this for, works very well for everything that we, because we use this on a daily basis. This is our food storage. Um, one thing I wanted to mention in talking about what we're doing here, we actually own this piece of property. It's, uh, it's in a small development. It's kind of like, think of, of living in a mobile home park except that you own the property. Uh, the other places around here are some are RVs like this, some are actual mobile homes that are set set up, but that's how we can do all this legally and have all of our utilities and water and sewer and, and electricity all hooked up. And it works very well. We, As you will see, we are not uh, suffering. <laughs> we have all the comforts of home here. Um, hi, I am Bill's wife, Elizabeth, and um, we uh, wanted to talk a little bit more about some of the things that we've done here. Um, I have to admit that when we first were talking about living here, it was a little hard for me to accept. Um, it was just kind of really such a terrible mess. And um, I have asthma, and I didn't like the fact that it seemed moldy, and it was really rough. But um, my husband has done such an incredible job of getting everything really fresh and clean and, and um, straightened up, and I'm actually really enjoying it here. Um, because the, the windows are kind of odd shapes, um, I um, went ahead and just made curtains. Um, I'm almost done with all of them now, and these are um, just really easy to pull back and forth, gives us good privacy, and um, so I was able to kind of make those to fit the place. Also, um, I still teach some piano lessons, and um, it was hard to know what to do. I do have this keyboard. I had to sell my regular piano, of course, but I still have this really good keyboard, and we didn't know what to do with it, but we needed to have it where it was available for me. So Bill came up with a great idea. Um, I just pull out my piano stand which is right here pull my chair out and set up my piano stand 
and then he put my piano up on brackets. Everything's all plugged in. I just lift it down, set it on the stand. I'll be teaching this afternoon. I'm doing a few lessons, and um, then when I'm all done, I just wrap the cords back around and set it right back up, and it doesn't restrict our use of the, of the desk. It's working fine. We still have the window, and it doesn't restrict being able to see the screen for us to watch a movie. So it is worked out very, very well, and I just got a cover to put on it, and dust cover, and um, this is like the music stand, and um, I'm very, very pleased with that. So, um, I had four things that I was really hoping uh, that we would be able to have if we're going to live in something as small as this. The RV itself is 150 square feet. Um, and one is um, the needing the recliners. Um, I actually had a stroke a few years ago, and I sometimes truly need to be able to rest. Um, and so the recliner is really helpful. I really wanted a washer and dryer. I really wanted a dishwasher. And I really wanted a regular shower, and you don't want to just sit on the toilet and rinse off. And as we show you, um, I really thank God we've been able to really incorporate all of that into this place. So I'm really grateful. All right, thanks. So here I am in our recliner in the living room. Kitchen is right here. Um, when we first moved in, there was a furnace here. It was a closet with a furnace in it. Uh, and it didn't work. And a previous owner put this little heater here, a ventless uh, propane heater. So we just left that and what I did here was I took out the closet with the big furnace. The furnace was as big as this. It was wasted space. So I took it out and then I was able to fit in the washer and dryer, stack up a washer and dryer. Works really well. We love it. Right next to it, over here, there used to be a table with a couple of chairs, which we didn't need because we usually sit in front of the TV with those collapsible folding tables. So I took that out, put an air conditioner where this window used to be, put a dishwasher here. This is a workstation where you can sit down when you're cutting up vegetables and whatnot. Uh, the original stove. All of this stuff is new. And then we have a new refrigerator here. I've replaced all the cabinets. Uh, if you watch the the first video, part one, you can see the work that I did in here to, for the renovation. This is one of the places in here um, where I put, um, just made the curtains. We just put them on the little clips on the rings to keep it simple. And one thing I've discovered is that um, I, I needed to make the curtains just fit the space because I don't have a lot of extra space for stuff to be in the way. So that's worked out really very well. Um, I have one more of these I'm going to be using in my cupboards. We have um, put these in here um, and it really makes it easier for us to stack so that I'm making as good a use of the space as I possibly can. And um, so that has worked out really well. And I, I love the little uh, mug hooks that Bill put for me. Um, I've enjoyed that really a lot. Um, we have a cat. We did find a place to put a covered cat box. And you know even in a small area I keep it cleaned out every day and it's just not been a problem and um, so he does very very well here with us. Um, so I was really grateful we found a nice small fridge that fits the area and this has been a very workable kitchen for us. I really enjoy it. Good. So. Okay now we'll walk back uh, farther into the trailer. The hall between here and the bedroom, of course, becomes the, bed, the bathroom when you close the doors. And I really like how this has worked out. One of the things I really wanted was a regular shower. And this is a small tub, but um, it's, it's gonna, it works out fine for us to grab showers. And um, you see... Yep, it works out very well. Bill can actually just about completely stand up in there. He put a new surround in it. We got it all cleaned up, and it has really worked out well. So I can get just a regular shower, which I really appreciate. And then um, we've got a, a regular sink over here. Um, Bill has built in shelves for me here. And um, this just works out really, really nicely. So, all right, now... Um, I've often laughed and teased that we have a bedroom because this holds the bed. <laughs> you know, this is our bedroom. Um, Bill and I put a lot of thought into how to design this place. And um, this was all very dark in here. And 
I've appreciated the fact that I've been able to get it painted. Um, it is so brightened up in here now, even though we had to cover a window over on this side. Um, it has brightened up so much in here, and I'm I'm going to take the material that I made for the curtains in the living room, and um, we have these good blinds here, and I'm just going to hang a little um, uh, little bit of curtain just at the top there. Valance, that's what I have to think of. And I know guys aren't into all that, but I know the women are. So, now, this bed. We decided to go with a full-size bed, which we both seem to sleep on just fine, um, so that it would give Bill room to come off the end. And I'm going to actually turn the light on to come off the end, because he doesn't want to have to wake me up all the time when he gets up early to go to work. Um, and he sleeps on the inside. He built this, and it's got drawers in here, cubby for my shoes, and then we have more food storage here. And these are those kind of shelves where if you pick, um, put one in at the top, then it'll roll around to the bottom. I can demonstrate right here. It just rolls around so that the, the stuff we use is on the bottom, and then on the top, uh, we put in the new, the new stuff, and so it keeps the food rotated. And I'm, I'm also going to take some of that same material and put a little cover just over the food storage. Um, then it'll, I think it'll tie in with everything really nicely. My sister made this quilt, and I just absolutely love it, and I just really think it has made a very bright, cheerful room in here. Uh, we each have a closet on either side, and then Bill put a hanging thing here for uh, robes and my favorite hat so that um, we can get... Uh, you know, there's my hat there. and So, um, anyway, this is, is working out fine. It's working out fine. So, yeah, there's the, the, the hanging thing he put up. I have just uh, put a collapsible hamper into the bottom of my small closet. And, of course, we've had to limit the amount of clothes we have, which is fine. We store away our winter stuff um, in a box and then bring it out when we need it. But by having that collapsible hamper in my closet, I put my shirts above it and my dress is to the side, and I can have a place to put dirty clothes. And stuff like that is important for everyday life. So, and I'll be stepping into out then the drawers. into the, oh, I'm sorry, what? The drawers. Oh, yeah, that he built drawers in. Um, he has drawers on the end, which his long arms can reach better than mine. And then he put drawers here for me, and they just, they roll really smoothly, so that gives us a little bit more storage room for clothes. <laughs> okay. All right, now, when I go out here, I'll be stepping out into the sunroom. Alright, so now I'm stepping out into the sunroom. Um, this adds about another hundred square feet to our place um, and gives us somewhere to put some things that I'm so glad I didn't have to get rid of. But we do have to be realistic that it is dry. We've never had it get wet in here, but it is um, doesn't hold out any heat or cold. So in the winter or real hot days in the summer, um, you know, it's not going to be as usable. So we've had to be careful to make sure that um, here, I'll introduce you to somebody. Come here, old. Oh, where'd you go? <laughs> he disappeared. We, we have to be careful that what we put out here can handle extremes of temperature. But we were able to hang on to some furniture that I'm grateful for, um, an old china cabinet that belonged to Bill's grandmother. And then I do have some shelves here for some kitchen things and cookbooks and some odds and ends, my sewing stuff, um, that I just um, needed somewhere to put handy. Um, I have a, a table here, a folding table, that I can bring out and put a few folding chairs around it and still serve a nice meal or sit and sew or have, you know, uh, just a place to work on things like that. So I'm grateful for it. And we don't, it isn't too often probably in a tiny house people can hang on to a freezer, but we were able to hang on to our deep freeze um, out here. And so far it seems to be handling it very, very well. So um, I've got a few things left here. Um, that I'm just still trying to get situated and organized and kind of figure out where to put. But this gives us a little more drawer space and some special things that I wasn't sure where else to place. And it's a pleasant place to be, especially on a nice cool evening. So we're really quite grateful for it. And um, I will eventually get curtains up. I'll use magnetic curtain rods and eventually put some curtains up um, for some privacy for out here in the evening. But that's going to be a ways down the road yet, I think. Anyway, I like this place. It's been real pleasant. I've been out here sewing. So, alrighty. So, that's our tiny house. I hope you enjoyed the tour. We've been living here about six weeks and we're finally just getting settled in and we're discovering that we really like it. 
we were a little apprehensive about the thought of moving into such a tiny place, but it's turning out that it's working even better than we thought it would. Um, we are probably going to do another video very soon um, about the mentality of living in a tiny house and what you have to go through uh, as a mental process in order to actually live in a place this small. But as you can see, it's very possible. And as you can see by what we've done here, it's possible to do it without feeling like you're camping out in a tent. That we have washer and dryer and dishwasher and a deep freezer and everything we need and it works really well. In fact, we have everything that we need and we do not have the things that we don't need like a four car garage or a mortgage. <laughs> it's really truly wonderful to be living in a place completely debt free no debts, no car debts, no mortgage, nothing. And that's just, I, I have a new uh, motto in life, live simple, live free. And that's exactly what we're doing here. We're living simple, simply and incredible feeling of freedom to not have all of this stuff weighing you down. And it's, it's well worth taking a look at doing that, downsizing and getting on with your life instead of being so under such pressure all the time.